What is up, people? I have a microphone and a new GoPro Hero 3 Plus. <laughs> so since this is just a test ride, I'm just gonna head over to the gas station and get some gas. I really hope this fucking works, man. I just had to go travel across town to the only place that even has a fucking lapel mic. And that is, uh, Radio Shack was the only one to actually have one. And they only have one in stock in one of their neighboring stores, so I had to go travel to that store. Which is near the mall. And there was a lot of cops out, and I was wondering, like, what the hell's with all the cops? Well... I get home and I check my Facebook feed, a couple of friends that work at the mall posted a couple different pictures of uh, people standing outside and it said the mall had a bomb threat, <laughs> which I thought was really interesting. I don't think it's the first time it's happened, I think they had another one where they thought it was a pipe bomb, I don't really remember. But apparently this one, they brought the bot out, the robot. And, uh, it turned out just to be a shoe box with shoes in it. You're supposed to have the right away, lady. Let's hope this wind noise isn't as bad as it sounds to me. Don't turn. it down the corner by my little uh, fucking chin curtain there. Might be too low. Might have to move it up somewhere. This helmet's not the quietest. I did get a piece of uh, cotton cloth that I had last minute and just tucked it in there with it. Hoping that it works. But hey! Three years ago I had a 07 Jixer 600. I shot a video with that saying, hey, I'm going to do this. I ordered my GoPro. And this is right at the time after Morda 13 posted a video on how he uh, records sound with his GoPro. And it was the GoPro 1 at the time. So that's what I ordered. And he had an audio recorder. And I was just about to order that. I was heading to the bank one day. Some lady thought her time was more important and pulled right out in front of me. And I went right to the side of her car. That was three years ago, and I haven't wanted to been on a bike since. But I said, hey, figured, hey, fuck it. I'm not getting younger. Might as well just get another fucking bike. Let's get some of that sex juice. Yeah. If you guys don't watch Baker, you should. <clears throat> Back up and do anything. That'd be great. Great start out for the day. Wreck into something. Let's take the long way home. Just to be sure that this is fucking recording like it's supposed to be. God, I hope it is. The amount of money I just spend one day to get this fucking set up. Oh, yeah. Come on. Fucking dicks. Fucking finally. Anyways, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah, got hit. We'll go down that road one day. I just went up it today for the first time. Kinda didn't want to be near that thing. Looks like the road's been redone since then. But uh, yeah. The whole bomb threat thing was pretty fucking funny though. But anyways, uh... Around the same time, More Death 13 released that video on how to do it. That's when I set it up, that I got hit, and I just kind of didn't want to do it. But I've been following all the other motovloggers 
for some time now. You know, like Baker Derrick, Suburban Delinquent. Oh, this is a flashback right here. Look at me. Thank you. That's exactly pretty much what happened right there. She pulled right out in front of me and took me out. I can't get edgy when that happens. But uh, yeah, Baker Derrick, Suburban Delinquent, Jake the Garden Snake, of course, Mr. Mordath, uh, Motonosity, fucking who else? Ian 18 Pistol, excuse me, don't say seven, he'll get pissed. Do it with Dan. And uh, Mr. Yummy R6, I'm sure I have a couple more. Oh, Snowcat, that's another one. I've been following them all for so long, and if I would have started in 2011, shit, I might be 100,000 subscribers right now. But no, I had to be a fucking pussy and not do it at all. So now that I have a little bit of money set aside, Got myself the new GoPro, fucking microphone, and here we are. So let's do it! But uh, yeah, I've been watching all those guys for fucking ever, and I just got fed up. I'm like, why am I not doing this? Why the hell am I even driving a big ass truck two to three miles to work every day? What a fucking waste of time. This is what I really like doing. I like making videos of any content, even games. Oh yeah, 644 Honda, that's another one I forgot. Thought I'd remember all of them today. But apparently I don't. Because I'm an idiot! But anyways, this is my bike. It's a uh, 2014 DRZ400 Supermoto. It's only done a handful of mods, excluding power-related ones. Haven't done the 3x3, haven't done the rejet, haven't done an exhaust yet. Thing doesn't even have 600 miles on it. Hasn't even had its first oil change yet. So eventually, I mean, we'd do some more rides, and uh, I really want to start interacting with some of the moto vloggers who I've been following forever, and maybe doing some kind of like projects together, or maybe like uh, dual vlogs, but not actually being there with each other, something like that, some crazy shit. Uh, one thing I also really, really want to do is uh, one of the first moto vloggers I ever turned into was not actually More Death, but this guy introduced me to More Death when he barely had any subscribers. His name was Sven Gali on YouTube, and he used to do a lot of geocaching. And I really wanted to do that, and I started getting into it too. And that was one of my coworkers. <laughs> That's funny. Fucking coworkers in the delivery vehicle just passed me. I didn't even see who it was. I can only guess it was maybe Ryan. Actually, that wouldn't make any sense. He just got manager, so. There's a bike back there. Do I see you? No, that's a HID race truck. But uh, yeah, Sven Golly was a British guy. Did a lot of geocaching, and he had run a YouTube channel for the motovlog, Sven Golly, and then he had the other one that was called uh, what the fuck was it called? Geocaching spoilers or geocache spoilers? And he showed a bunch of different creative geocaches. And I pretty much got hooked on that shit. I really wanted to be involved with it. So I have been doing it, especially recently. And I do plan on doing some moto vlogs where we actually go find some. The only thing is I can't really go giving it away where they are. That'd be kind of a dick move. So I think uh, eventually we'll set something up. I'll get a tank bag or something where I can see my cell phone, get the GPS, and I'll just blur it out or something. And we'll go find some uh, some geocaches. But for now, I mean, this is mainly just a test video. Oh my god, hood rats. This is mainly just a test video to see exactly how this is going to happen, how it's going to work. I might have to adjust this mic. I have a feeling I'm going to have to. But uh, yeah, eventually these uh, vlogs will probably be a little more exciting. It's just late in the day and I finally got everything mounted up to the helmet properly. And I had to draw out the case for the, uh, the mic adapter. So we'll just have to see how this turns out. That's the official first motor vlog! You can't hear me. But yeah, very soon we'll do some moto vlogs. We'll probably go up somewhere. I want to try and hook up with suburban, at least suburban delinquent or Baker. It's just 
commuting with a supermoto, even though it is my only vehicle. He's just looking at me like, duh, seconds right up top. But yeah, eventually we'll get it done. We'll do something really exciting. Later, guys.